Tonight we are gathered to honor and recognize all the teams who have participated in this year's competition. Our opponents are very, very skilled, so you really, really had to be on the ball. You meet new people, new cultures, and travel to a different country. It's a great experience. Welcome to the World Finals, the World Scholars The World Scholars Cup is a global team academic competition in which students from many countries learn a unified curriculum around a theme that changes every year. They then use what they learn in team-oriented events. They debate other teams from other countries. They answer questions versus these other teams. They build an international community focused on a common curriculum. I think I would describe the World Scholars Cup as a competition where not only you're tested on material and the knowledge that you've gained in that material, but being able to work as a team and, and think together. Actually, I haven't done any academic competitions in school before. And this is actually my first time, and wow, World Scholars is really something to be interested in, and something I wish I had started in that grade. What I like best about the competition is that it gives a chance for the kids to interact with one another and they get to learn about different cultures and how, they, how things are run in different countries and how the students are actually more alike than they are different even though it seems maybe so polarized in their own country. But when they come together and they start you know, making the same jokes and they, start, you know, they, they, they begin to see each other in a whole different light and that is so, so worthwhile to see that really we are we are more connected and more together than we ever actually realized before your scores for this round are being tabulated in mere moments we will know how all of you did my favorite part of the whole competition has to take place when students are competing together as teams and answering questions orally. They have 15 seconds to answer and they instantly know whether they got it right or wrong. So with every question, the auditoriums erupt with laughter, applause, excitement, frustration. And you can tell that even though it's an intellectual event that requires a lot of work on their parts, that they managed to have a really good time doing it. Yeah, it was, it was exciting for three hours to sit there and, <laughs> and look at the buttons and go, oh, it was A, B, C, D, or E. And look up and down. And, yeah, it was, it was fun. I think the Scholars World was lots of fun. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, answering questions and getting the answers straight away, it's like, yeah. It was, it was cool. It was, yeah. yeah. It's a growth experience. And, uh, and and it's a it's a process from beginning to end. It's you know it's not just about winning. It's a whole team building process, education through group learning, uh, which is actually a foundation and the the fundamental aspect of my school. It, it's been really cool. Um, I uh, met a few people at the mixer on Friday night. I met a few people who I've seen uh, throughout most of the days uh, and. I was pleasantly surprised that you know there were a lot, there was stiff competition from, from all over the world. Resolve that the greater the empire, the harder its fall. You have 15 minutes to prepare. Good luck. A fall is defined as until religious, culture, and political aspects of empire is void. So this means that the Roman Empire has still not fallen. The motion that has states that the greater the empire that fall. That all have to get impact, not about the reason why it fell. Which shows that a greater empire, it has a hard fall because this fall does not go by the night. As it says, Rome was not built in a day. I would like to say, Rome was not even destroyed. It has had such an impact. They were arguing, they were debating, and they were winning. What, what more can you ask for? I'm, 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 I've had a very good time. I'm Bunny Haxel, and I'm on U.S. Bangladesh, except I'm from Arizona. I'm Todd Medema, I'm from California. And I'm Brian Nabil, I'm from Bangladesh. We now live in a world where you can spend all day Google chatting with someone in Bangladesh, where you can really work together online, where national boundaries mean less than they used to. So why should we limit kids from being involved with other students from other countries from the start? Coming here to Singapore and being in a foreign country with people you met with the internet, you know, you have to get to know each other really well, really quickly, and that's just something everyone should be able to do. Like last night, I had, a, I had an extensive conversation with a bunch of kids from Dubai, 
and that was uh, something I would, uh, there'd be nowhere else where I would have that opportunity. We have made a lot of friends. Um, I know the Vietnamese girls, Khan and Jackie. She's better with names than I am. What I think is also really good about it is like the adrenaline you get from it because after like all that nervous tension and like getting up there and scared and the adrenaline's going and to know at the end that you won, the, the feeling that you get from achieving something like that is really good. The feeling of achievement.